144 pounds with a record of four wins and two losses. Training out of Harris Holt MMA from Clarksville, Tennessee. It's Isaac Morris. And across the cage, weighing 146 pounds with a record of four wins and four losses. Fighting out of Derby City MMA from Louisville, Kentucky. It's Dylan Mays. Well, people at home, here we go. First fight of the night. Morris first Mays. Isaac Mays coming out of the blue corner in the black shorts. Dylan Mays, the orangutan, is coming out in the gray spandex Nike Pro shorts. Coming out of the red corner. Here we go. Ooh, off the glove touch. Ooh, there's quite the height difference between the two of them. Yeah, man, I was just looking at that. I feel like if yeah. Dylan can use that reach and stay in the range. But I love the kick right off the bat Morris is throwing. I'd like to see him set it up a little bit, just throw a little up top and then come down low. It was a powerful kick. If he can get it to land, it'll do some damage. This is the first time I've seen Mays not just attack his opponent in the cage. Well, he was saying backstage he's trying to make the adapt so he can become a pro. Yeah. yeah, he is. Nice high kick blocked. Nice low kick. He's got he's got to set up them low kicks, but they're landing. That high kick's there too. If he could set set it up with something, maybe a, a throw a jab out there before the high kick. But he's he is be, Gina talking about what you're talking. He is being composed. We just talked about that. Is Dylan going to be able to be composed or not? And he's doing a good job. Really good wrestler as we're seeing here. But I no joke. Oh. Beautiful transition by Isaac Morris. Yeah, that, that scramble had a lot of things going on it. Uh, I didn't know who was going to win until, uh, until Mr. Mays was on bottom. Yeah, Dylan has a really fast, erotic scramble, if that's no, makes that's sense. No, that's 100%. Did you say erotic? I didn't mean to say erotic. It was an erotic <laughs> scramble. Sporadic. That's, that's my, personally, that's my favorite type of scramble. Sporadic. It has been. Sporadic. Right. Britt, if you're watching at home, we're going <laughs> to. Sporadic. Well, right now, Sam, what does Dylan need to do, man, in your opinion, I'd like to, to see improve Dylan. this position here? Oh, mouth guard fell out from uh, Mr. Morris. Uh, I would like him to drive in. Uh, Mo uh, Morris here, he's only got one underhook. He's got to transition to two. Oh, and there oh, Mr. Mays is taking the back. Job. He's got the wow. hook in. Is he going to flatten him he's out? Flatten and he's out. flattening him out. Morris. This is brilliant. A this lot of times you'll see people take back and try and pull someone on top of you. You are much better finishing the choke from the top position. Morris is grabbing the, the hands of Dylan Mays, trying to defend and control the hands. Oh, he popped out of those hooks. That was nice. Readjusts his back in. He's got the back. Now, you can do the same thing Mr. Mays can. If he if he bridges a little bit, tries to break him down forwards. Uh, a lot of times, oh, he's around that neck. Oh, he's in. The hand's in. It's around the chin still, but it doesn't, doesn't mean you can't turn into a face crank. He's got it locked up. Yes, he is. He might tap due to the Looks to the like crank. it's on the chin It still. is on the chin. Yeah, he's pulling it. But that, Dylan has those really long, bony arms. They're muscular, but they, they cut through you, so. Oh, oh wow. Man. wow. Wow. It worked. It worked. Great job by Morris. Yeah, great that job by Morris. Very impressive, risky move he did. Yeah, they both landed on their necks. <laughs> It's that erotic scrambling you were talking it's about. That, you just got to take that. the chances. <laughs> I'm never going to live that down. Isaac Mort's is talking about he's a kickboxer. He looks Look, really he good looks, on the ground. He's going to let him come up. Yep. Wow. Good first round. Great first round. By both. I think that last throw, punch thrown downward by Morris landed. I think Mays got rocked a little bit. Yeah, 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 but you know, one thing that I'm impressed with Mays, man, is, is he's keeping his composure. This is the first time in a long time that I've seen him be able to keep his composure. Yes. And, and make everything count and calculated. And I guarantee you, I give it up to Ben Fowler and them guys at Derby City. Oh, such a high quality gym. Chu Jitsu, Ben Fowler, striking, I mean, everything there. They've got, they've got everything. But, you know, I'm, I'm happy to see Mays not breathing too, too heavy, like from the last fight. Remember his last fight? He was kind of gassed out a little bit right. after the first round. You know, and now we see he looks more composed, and he, he's, it looks like he's learning a lot doing this. Well, it's just That's like we, nice to see. Right, and it's just like we talked about, Gina, is that he's got the talent, and he just, he just has to put it all together. Yes. And if he does that, he's a dangerous man. He is. Sam, I always like to get your intake in between rounds, man. What does Isaac Morris got to do in the, going into the second round? You know, it was, he kind of took advantage of every bad position he was in. He took, Didn't he? he? He sprawled on a shop, 
almost got taken out, but ended up on top. Every time he had a chance to strike, he did. Uh, he's doing everything pretty well. Protect your back a little bit more. Uh, that, that back take and the threat ch of that choke really might have given the round to Mays. But I don't know who I give that first round to. Man, I would hate to be a judge in that first round. It's about to start the second round. These guys are going to come out of guns blazing. I might lean towards Dylan just because of the threat. He had the back for about a minute and a half in that first round. I, I would I lean that way. Yeah. Just how much did that last punch hurt from Morris? Dylan's throwing that little lazy teeth right there. Oh, and he shoots in. Great oh, takedown. Cut. More, man, that Morris was a good scribble. shove, man. Yes. Beautiful sprawl. Good. Great shove by Morris. Taking the back. Ta He's yep. going to start punching. Yeah. Oh, oh, nice little trip getting wow. on top. Yeah. He's got that, that Morris has got a strong base for he, coming from a Muay Thai background. He does. And he's got the good instinct of, of not looking for the submission until he hits him a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice little Gramby might end up with a oh, maze wow. on top. Look at oh, this. Wow. The, choke. the tides have turned. Is it underneath the chin? Not yet. Not yet. Maze is fighting that. Maze has got to keep turning in towards that choke. And keep it's that, going in. Keep that belly button pointing Come upwards. On. Try and slide the butt over. Wow. Uh, Morris has to be careful. His feet are crossed. Yes. Oh, it's under the. Oh, he's, he's turning, turning in. Good turn job. In. Wow. Beautiful job by Dylan Mays. Yeah. yeah. Very I, impressive. Yes. The orangutan. Now we see if I. Coach is asking him to pass. He's got some, some room to make up now. He he's does. taking some damage. He just fought off a choke, but that choke was in for a good 20 seconds. Dylan likes to be here. He likes to be on top, kind of take his time. Well, he's definitely taking his time in this fight, which is yeah. good. I, I'm glad to see that means he's progressing. He's evolving as a fighter. And that's what you want these Absolutely. amateurs to do. So. But like you said, Gina, he loves to be right here. He, he likes the half guard situation. We talked about this last week. Randy Couture made that famous. The half guard's where it's at. Right. For a lot of grapplers. And Dylan's looking good. I mean, he's controlling the fight right here. So. Isaac is very educated. He is looking for a way out every single time. If that doesn't work, his chain wrestling reactions are really high quality. Yep. Dylan's got that knee shield now, which will help create a little bit of space. Uh, if and, and Dylan here, he's riding that leg. He's got the figure four. He's got the leg locked down. He's just controlling the position where he can get some damage. I think really he's just trying to catch his breath a little bit, trying to control his thoughts while being on top. Uh, his forearms and hands are resting on the ground. I'd like to see them resting on top of uh, Isaac. Uh, you'd have a little more control, a little more ability to strike from there. Um, but as far as just control goes, he's doing pretty well. Well, that's the thing, too, and I think he's worried about posturing up, raining down shots, because, like Gina was talking about, Isaac's so good at the scrambles, and as soon as he postures up, he's going to try to get out from underneath him. Yes. Now, mount near the cage can be dangerous. Yes. If Isaac knows what he's doing or how, what to do from this position, he'll start using that cage, get par uh, parallel to the cage. See, rolling over, Isaac. I Oh, it's the first real left. mistake I've seen Isaac make. Dylan has got to throw them shots and into I, the round. I, Man, that was a fast was round. It? That seems oh, really quick. Yeah, I didn't hear the bell. I didn't hear the bell either. The bell ran out of air. Yeah. But Conley's on it. <laughs> so look, Ben Fowler, you're telling him, listen, you know, you're telling Dylan Mays, keep doing what you're doing. I would like to see a little bit more urgency once he gets the, the dominant position. Yeah, I would like to see some damage done. He's controlling the position and yeah. he's controlling, you know, aspects of the fight. But he's not doing much from there. The damage of that round definitely went to Isaac. I, I just agree. don't know if it was enough. Right. The threat was there. He had a couple of big punches. I'd probably lean towards Isaac winning that round. However, the second half of it was, well, the second third of it was, the yes. third, third third of it. The third third. <laughs> was Dylan Mays. But there was really nothing going on, right? Like right. you said, I mean, he, he there was no strikes. There was nothing. He just held him there right. for the last half of the round. So I, I'm, I'm with you on the second round. I feel like Isaac Morris did enough in the first minute of that fight, or that round, to win that round. So it could be one and one. It could be. It could be two and zero, oh, and it could be zero oh and two. Right. I'd like to see. I'd like to see them stand up a little bit more. Now, Dylan does make those shots from far away. He is known to do that when he starts getting desperate. And that last shot was a little bit. For, it, it wasn't way out, but it was out well, enough. He, he got touched, and yes. he didn't want to be there anymore, and he so. shot in. But you're right. He does do that. But the thing about it is, once Dylan figures out how to use his range standing up and use a jab properly, he's going to be dangerous. Yes. 
Absolutely. <laughs> They're having fun out there. Oh, yeah. All smiles from Isaac Morris. Starting round three, the final round. Good. We start getting some, throw those jabs out there. Both of them are yes. looking for the kicks, looking for the impressive finish, but you got to set it up. Just throw those jabs, make them flinch a little bit. Ooh. Ooh. The jab, good hard leg kick. The jab's there for Dylan Mays if he would throw it. It's right there. Oh. He's throwing a lot of naked kicks. Oh. Oh, big punch. End up on the back. Beautiful takedown by Dylan Mays. That's that sporadic movement yeah. I was talking about. Not the other one, sporadic. Isaac he, go ahead. No, Sorry. go on. I was just going to say Isaac Moore is doing a good job controlling the hands of Dylan Mays. But Dylan's got him flattened out right here. Yeah, he's got that inside hook, hook yeah. with his feet in. That keeps uh, that that keeps Isaac from being able to yes, get up and be able to use the cage. He's already trying to get to that right hip. Isaac's like, all right, I'm in this situation. His foot is here. He feels it on the leg. He's trying to get on that right hip. Yeah, your option is you have to get to your back or you have to turn completely around 180 degrees to get your other shoulder on the cage where you can then stand up. Exactly. Both are difficult. And the thing is, you might eat a few. Doing yeah. that. Oh. Again, but, you know, the risk is worth the re the reward is worth the risk, you know, so. This is fighting, not baking, guys. That's it, that's it. But I would like to see Dylan strike a little more. If he can get his hands free and, and, and maybe posture up and strike some. He's got him in a bad situation right here up against this cage panel. His head cannot go anywhere. Yeah, so a little dirty trick I've got right here. With your hands are stuck, you just rake his face up and down Cheese the cage. Cheese grater, I was There you go, that. exactly. Uh, just use, use the fence as a weapon, which is completely legal. He's trying to buck his hands free. If he gets those hands free, I can expect Isaac to explode up. That's. I, uh, uh, I, I don't understand the stand-up. Yeah, George Conley stood him up. I didn't understand that too well. Uh, that, that loses a dominant position for Dylan. I, Dylan made a full back mount. Oh, man, what a leg kick. Takes Dylan Mays off his feet. Another good scramble by Morris. Good, he's got the butter. Oh, he had the butterfly hook. I thought he was going to be able to kick over with it. The beautiful punch by Morris. And if I'm Dylan Mays, you got to get over that. That was a terrible stand-up by George Conley. I can't believe he took the position away from him he like that. He might have had a glove. He might have been. But Okay, okay. Yeah. but if Isaac has the glove, that's his foul. He right. should not he be did. rewarded the stand-up, right? right? Get a point. I'm very impressed with these two fighters. Yep. I mean, to start the show off, right? Oh, First yeah. First fight of the night? Mm-hmm. 100%. Neither of them have slowed down a little bit. Not Both at all. The, the kickboxer is on top. No, the kickboxer got a takedown. Uh, so maybe it's not fair to be calling him a kickboxer. Yeah, I mean, he was saying I'm well-rounded, but I, I prefer kickboxing. That's that's what I do. But right now, I would like to see Dylan. Ooh. Oh, the round's over with us. I was going to say I'd like to see Dylan get a butterfly guard, do something. He did well, a good job. I'll go see what the judges there have to say. There you go. It's yeah. probably going to take a second. I, I'm going to predict Dylan Mays won the fight, but it was so close. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put money on it. I wouldn't put money on it. I guarantee it's a split decision. Uh, I, I, I can see. I mean, either way, both guys did a, a really good job. Dylan Mays looked really good in there tonight. He, 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 you know, he was calm in there. I haven't seen him like that in a long time. He looked really good tonight. Yeah, it was fun watching him kick, fun watching him. He had a beautiful deep kick in there uh, as Isaac threw a kick under. It, it was a well, well fought fight from both sides. Yeah, the thing is, is that uh, I'm worried about, because really Isaac dominated that third after he got let up. So I'm, I'm, I'm worried yeah. about what the judges are thinking about that due to the re referee's mistake. I Some, mean. Sometimes finishing on top is enough to win the round, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I just don't understand how George Conley st stood that up with a back mount. Oh, yeah. It's, it's kind of crazy. I was like, how do you take someone from back position, especially an amateur, takes one elbow out the way to get the back in? Yeah, folks at home, we're talking to Dylan Mays' corner. I believe it's his dad and his, and his head coach, Ben Fowler. They, they were asking about the, the George Conley stand-up. Uh, but what a good fight. Both of these guys had a great fight, good transitions. I mean, to start off the night, man, if this entails what this card is going to be about, then I can't wait for the next 13. Yeah, that, that's three rounds, and I couldn't tell you who the winner is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a perfectly matched fight. Oh, and like you were saying, it's taking a it, second to get the – Oh, here we go. scorecard in. Now we're going to go to our ring announcer, Gina Lucille, who is going to give us the final decision.
this fight has gone to our judges. First judge scores this 29-28. Second judge, 30-27. Yeah. Third judge, 29-28. For your unanimous decision, out of the blue corner, Isaac Morris. Well, 30-27, I don't know about that, Sam. Yeah, I, it would, I mean, every round was close, but uh, yeah, I wouldn't have given it to 30-27. But they always tell you, never leave it into the hands of the judges, man, because you see it all the time.